Yanu ebi bimbe ye Yanu ebi bimbe ye Ozambe 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 It's all this Presbyterian training, Presbyterian molding that has taken us into the army. For me, going to the army was not a big problem because saying yes sir was not a problem. Uh, obeying orders was not a problem because of what we had to go through in Presec until you become seniors. So when you get to the army, so do you go like you went to Form 1 and one day you became a senior, everybody was afraid of. When you get to the army and you're a lieutenant, you go through the same thing. See your elders and you salute them. Whatever they ask you to do, you do it. So that character molding, you know, that the fine tuning that we got from Presec was able to take us in, even into the army. And if you come to the profession that I practice in, it's the same thing. We're able to learn a lot of things from our seniors. And that is what has brought us this far. It cannot be taken for granted that maybe you did it on your own, but because if you didn't have these inner qualities uh, built in you, at a point you probably give up or you become unproductive. But I'm still working, uh, you know. So the light, uh, it was good. Uh, the light they exposed that to was good. We thank Presec for for making us, molding us, and making us who we are. We cannot be taken for granted. My name is Reginald Ofei Yirinji. That's how the Deroy came about. Reginald Ofei Yirinji, the initials. So that's how I ended up with Deroy as my nickname. Entered Presec in 1972 and finished Form 5 in 1977. I came back to uh, Presec for my sixth form uh, and continued with my, my science. I actually did very well in the O level. I had good one distinction. So obviously the school of choice was back to my old Presec. Being a dentist, uh, joining the army, I've traveled the world over because of the army. And I have um, friends in Mayibi, my supported peacekeeping operations in the UN, maybe about 10 countries. You know, I've taking care of people by way of dentistry, not only in dentistry, I used to be a lay preacher. So I have supported mankind, you know, with the light that was exposed to me in Presec. I have, I have not, I have not played with it. I have uh, shown the world because if, if you don't have that exposure, if you don't have that kind of light in you at an early age, some of the things I do now, maybe I wouldn't have been able to do. It was different from what I knew from home. So there was a whole lot of confusion in my mind. That was when I realized that the only way forward was to study hard. So, from one, from two, from three, I, I was competing with the very brilliant guys in academics at the time. It was just a matter of course that I would come out very good because I really challenged myself. Um, I remember those days we used to read a lot. 
The strategy I adopted was that every time after lunch, when all those uh, troubles were going on, people were being punished and people were weeding, I used to run away to the science lab and hide there. Sometimes even under, on, under the bushes there, take my reading materials. So I got very good at uh, academics. So when I got to Form 3, Form 3, going from 4, I started noticing that I could be one of the best sports people at the time too. Because obviously I was tall. I was very tall and I had very long legs. I was strong. And back in the day at middle school, I had done some high jumping too. So one day I went to the field where the seniors were training. And I didn't like the way they were doing the high jump. I realized uh, the, the effort to the high jump could be better. Could be better. So I went and, whilst they were training, I went and also started jumping with them. And <laughs> it turned out to be a, a big show. So hey, this young man, he had gone to beat the older guys because people were in form four, form five, big guys, six form, doing high jump. Then you from three boy, you come and they, they were jumping, you came and you were jumping. Oh, I went and over jumped all of them. I became the high jump champion of uh, Presec. You know, that, that was the proudest moment. And also, when one day, all of a sudden, I was jumping at the Crossport Stadium and ended up with, I think, bronze or something. I was in the third place or something. And these are, these are memorable times you cannot forget, you know, because <laughs> Accra Stadium is big and it's big in Tako. All the schools in Accra were there. And um, because of my name, when I jump, the whole stadium will go, Deroy, you know, and it was, it, was, it was big, you know. Uh, looking back at it, it was, it was fun. It was fun. You've been gone. One interesting thing I remember about Presec that I'll never forget is uh, when we were Form 5. We, uh, this group, we heard of it, Osibisa. Osibisa came to town. We were in Form 5, we were just about writing our book. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, maybe a quarter of the school went to watch Osibisa, and obviously most of the Form 5 people. We went to watch Osibisa. We ran away in the night and went to Legon uh, to go and watch Osibisa. And uh, I think the authorities got wind of it. So whilst we were there watching Osibisa, watching Teddy Osei, <coughs> watching Maktonto, or you know, all these uh, great guys, you know, displaying we really enjoyed it. But however, the authorities had had wind of it that a lot of us had gone to watch uh, Osibisa. So they held a roll call. Then all those who were not present, you know, uh, the following day, they paraded us to go and meet the assistant headmaster. I think it was a Tua Ferry at the time. Yeah, they paraded us there. And they, we were given two weeks suspension. And it was about a week to our mock. So they had to suspend the mock until we came back. Um, a lot of us went home. I don't remember spending two weeks at home. The half of the time I was in the school. I was dodging, going to hide in the bush and study. Then in the night I'll come and sleep. You know, you don't go anywhere near the uh, classroom block or the dining hall. Uh, that is what I remember most because it, it, the reason why it's memorable was that the CBS was big at the time. And you can't afford to miss the Sibisa. Hey, you know, all this sunshine day and uh, we are going. <laughs> I mean, those men, we are going. All these were big, you know, at the time. You know, and we wanted to see them. And we actually did. Not to talk about the discipline I learned, not to talk about uh, how to study academic aspect of it. You know, research training was complete. It, it, it was a part in my life that I want to relive. Maybe 
I would say I'd like to go back to Prisek again if that was possible. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I, I don't uh, regret going, spending that seven years of my life there because that's what made me what I am today. Everything about Prisek made me what I am today. Forget about those <laughs> crazy things that <laughs> we used to do. You know, certain crazy, crazy things, but uh, the foundation of uh, my life is uh, Presec. You know, as our anthem goes, you know, I learned a lot from there. And I'm happy that I am an old boy of Presec or that year. Yeah. Kudos to the present president of the Odadia group for his vision and uh, making sure that the Presec uh, Odadia group uh, becomes visible. Yeah, I think in this time I've seen some serious improvement. And also encouraging the year groups to undertake projects in the school, you know, my group, we went and rebuilt the art shed and make it a modern art shed. And I know a lot of the year groups are also doing a lot of things to improve the image of the school. And that, that he has done really well and uh, I say kudos, Reverend, kudos. Everywhere, every sphere of life that you pass, uh, they may not be at the very top, but uh, you'll find a present person there. So, uh, we are all over the place, you know. Uh, I think we proved ourselves in the building of Ghana. You know, looking at Dr. Chrissy uh, a lot of people, young ones like, Ukujetua uh, Blackwa, them, Frankie Drew, them, you know, uh, special ice guy. Everywhere, in every sphere, you find some Presec boys, uh, the current Speaker of Parliament. Uh, you find them making our light shine. You no, know? we didn't keep the light under a bushel, we exposed the light. And that's what we're told. Illuminito, videbimus lumen. In thy light, we shall see light. And we give the light out. <laughs> when we see the light, <laughs> we'll give it out. <laughs>